Establish multidirectional routing paths. First, the STL model is input coordinate setting. May refer to coordinate setting video tutorials. Multidirectional routing paths require multiple stocks with each stock. We can refer to the advanced stock creation tutorial videos. Create two tools: flat hand mill, tapered sephirical. First visited paths need the first stock for reference. Activate the first stock. Other stocks are not activated. Two visited paths create two half and half stock. Create four half and half stocks. Right click on paths in the project view window. Select create paths. Enter desired parameters in the dialog box. For detailed explanations of these parameters, we can refer to the plan path creation video tutorial. The strategy type must be set to raster, and the corresponding stock must be selected. Step over five to ten, allowance three to five, lateral allowance three to five, shift height one hundred and twenty. The minimum two tip depth should be set to value slightly below the origin. The actual value depends on the shape of the stock. Select the corresponding stock in the select stocks list box. Tick the checkbox area layer clearing. Set the layer cutting depth to a value no larger than seven mm. After all parameters are set, click on OK button. Then calculate the path at the parameters default. You have finished clipping the path. You need to recalculate the path. Activate the second stocks and then do not activate the first stock. After the first roughing path is created, let's create a second roughing path by creating a copy of the first path to avoid setting identical parameters again. The second plan path parameter, it can be the same as the first plan path. The only parameters that need to be changed for the copy are the names. The corresponding stock and the raster normal angle in the strategy specific setting tab. For two directional roughing, the angle for the second path is 180 degrees. For four directional roughing, the angle for the second path is 90 degrees. After the path is generated, you can also cut the path that you don't do by editing the clipping area. If you want to do more plain path, the method is the same as the second phase path. Continue to activate the next stock, create a path or copy the path. More raster roughing paths from other directions can be created in the same way.
continue creating multiple plane precision toolpath. The method is as same as a rough knife before. Activate the first stock path right mouse button. Create two path. The parameter is roughly the same as a rough knife. Path name, tool, strategy, step over, 0 0.2, thickness, 0. Finish machining area layered clearing. Uncheck select the first stock. Do not activate the full rough knife path in the front. Continue using the edit clipping area to cut off extra path. Continue using the edit clipping area to cut out extra path. Clipping paths need to be trimmed on both sides. If you also need to create a third or fourth flat knife path, you can refer to the above method. Just change the parameters if you need.
After the multi route two path and precise cutter path have been established, save the project file. First, activate multiple RAF knife path. Activated path operation. Output NC code. All precision two path must be deactivated. Activated path operation. Output NC code. 